Today's agreement is about preserving that delicate balance and charting a new way forward for the people of Northern Ireland. In broad terms, it is clear that significant progress has been secured across a number of areas, whilst also recognising that there remain key issues of concern. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There can be no disguising the fact, for example, that in some sectors of our economy in Northern Ireland, EU law remains applicable in our part of the United Kingdom. My party will want to study the detail of what has been published today, as well as examining the legal text, the political declaration and the government's command paper. Where necessary, we stand ready to engage with the government in order to seek further clarification, reworking or change as required. OK, well, firstly, let me say that I welcome the fact that a deal has been done. Um, I think the, that most people in society out there will welcome the fact that we're at the end of this negotiation. That's it, complete. Um, and I think that you know most people's minds here at home will very much quickly turn to the fact that we need to be in this institution, we need to be working together, we need to be tackling things like the health service, you know, creating jobs, growing our economy, taking the full advantage that the protocol um, affords us. We will not snipe, we will not seek to play political games. And when the Prime Minister puts this deal forward for a vote, Labour will support it and vote for it. Yeah. The protocol will never be perfect. It's a compromise. But I've always been clear that if implemented correctly, it is an agreement that can work in the spirit of the Good Friday Agreement. And now that it has been agreed, we all have an obligation to make it work. Northern Ireland is a unique place and that we need unique arrangements, recognising uh, the unique history and geography of the place. And the European Union has moved a lot, uh, has moved a lot to facilitate uh, a new agreement with Britain, um, but is doing it for all the right reasons, uh, because we want um, Northern Ireland to work, we want the Assembly and Executive functioning, and we want very good relations between uh, the European Union and the UK. And a lot has changed uh, since the original Brexit agreement. Um, you know, let's bear in mind that a lot of trust has been built up between the UK government uh, and the European Union uh, since uh, Prime Minister Sunak took up office. The exchange of data has made a big difference as well. Uh, and also the world has changed. Uh, we have um, really big issues to deal with, whether it's the energy crisis, the war in Ukraine, uh, the refugee crisis that is affecting all of Europe. Um, and Britain and Europe and Ireland need to be working together on those things.